What's up, guys? Rich with Zep Centric. Today, we're going to go ahead and align our brand new 2023 Model Y Performance, and we're going to compare the factory suspension on that to the Tane Enduro Pro Plus on our 2022 Model Y Performance. We are going to put Gemini 19-inch Model Y wheels on both vehicles, so we can also compare how the ride quality improves with these wheels. Let's go. All right, guys, we got readings, so check it out. Looks like actually the thrust angle is pretty decent on the rear. We've got some toe out on the driver's side, some toe in on the passenger side based on our center of the steering wheel. If we were to center it up the way the factory did the toe, the steering wheel would be to the right. Um, and so we're gonna go ahead and fix this toe, reset the steering angle sensor and send it. So we just started our drive. We're at the shop kind of late. We're gonna go pick up some pizza. Steven's behind me in his Model Y performance, but we've got the 19 inch Gemini's on both our performance wise. Mine's 2023, his is a 2022. We're gonna go ahead and I, I can already tell there's a, a huge comfort level difference between the 19 inch Gemini's with the thicker sidewalls versus the factory 21 inch wheels. It's pretty dramatic, but it uh, does not look cool at all. So yeah, we're gonna go get to the pizza spot, then we're gonna switch vehicles. He'll drive mine, I'll drive his. We'll both give reviews of, of our thoughts uh, and how the suspension feels. Again, I'm on OEM, 2023 Model Y Performance suspension, shocks and springs. He's on 2022 springs, but Tane Enduro Pro Plus adjustable shocks. All right, we're in Steven's 2022 Model Y Performance. He's got Tane Enduro Pro Plus shocks on it with 19-inch Gemini wheels. We made sure to have the same exact wheel set up on both. So let's see how this thing rides. It already feels smoother, to be honest. I didn't think it would be this much smoother and this noticeable. When we first put these shocks on the car, we did go through an extensive amount of testing to arrive at these damper values. And uh, if you guys do decide to contact us to purchase your dampers, we'll be happy to share that information with you. Stephen has about 100, 120 mile commute round trip. He was able to get quite a few miles on this thing in just a matter of a week so that we could get through our testing. And he's been running these things for maybe five months now. It's been a good amount of time. Oh, I did forget to mention, we did make sure to set the tire pressures all the same. They're all at 42 PSI cold. So we did try our best to create a lot of constant variables aside from the, from the shocks themselves. Whether or not the actual springs have been changed, I don't know. I guess we can take a look at the tags on the springs to see if the part numbers are different. So maybe when we pull the wheels back off the car, a little bit later on today, we can take a look at them. 
A really interesting thing to note is that this Model Y actually belongs to Steven's wife. And when we did change the shocks over, I was just gonna lend them to him. And his wife liked them so much that he ended up keeping them. Uh, he basically just didn't want to give them back. And now I can understand why. All right, we're going over some rough patch. And the rebound on these is like way better than the factory. I think we're gonna have to come back around again and drive these roads. Uh, have Steve and I both switch off after we eat and do another test drive. And just switch back to back, same road, same road. So one of the things I noticed is that on the factory dampers, it goes through an oscillation. So basically the recovery, where it like just takes a bump and then settles, uh, is not there. It takes a couple of oscillations for it to settle. But with the Taint dampers, where we have the dampers set currently, because it will differ on different different settings, that it is recovering really well. And just one bump and it'll settle. So we don't go through this kind of bounce. All right, we're back at the shop. Let's eat some pizza. What's up everybody? All right, we're back from the road test. You guys have uh, met me, I'm Rishi, what's up Centric? You finally get to meet and hear Steven's voice in person. This is Steven Case. Hello everybody. So Steven is probably um, one of the fastest guys you'll find in Model 3 racing around a track in California. And he is also uh, one of our lead engineers here. Uh, he is the uh, director of uh, operations, pretty much handles a lot of the uh, what goes on over here on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, while I am running around with my head cut off. But, um, you know, we're here to sit and discuss kind of maybe our different opinions or viewpoints on, on our vehicles. I just got a 2023 Model Y Performance, factory suspension. He has a 2022 Model Y Performance. Um, we will show you in another, another video as we were swapping 19-inch Gemini wheels onto both of our vehicles, uh, we noticed some some differences between the chassis just within one calendar year, maybe even less. And so you'll be seeing some of that information in a following video. But uh, so I guess to start off with, you know, he's got Tain Enduro Pro Plus dampers, adjustable shocks on his Model Y performance. And I have all factory suspension. My car's completely stock. Um, he already has aftermarket wheels on it. He does not have his Uber turbines anymore. I do have 21 inch Uber turbines, but in order to create an even playing field, we decided to both put 19 inch Gemini wheels on it from a Model Y because we just happen to have two sets here at the office that are brand new with brand new tires. So it was like the perfect way for us to create a level playing ground. Um, and so, you know, we started off with um, me and my Model Y and then went, as you heard, we went and picked up some pizza. We switched vehicles. He got in mine, I got in his, we drove back. Um, we tested out on some rumble strips. Uh, we didn't have a lot of time, it's getting pretty late. It's actually 8.15 p.m. Yeah, at the shop. So we drove over some rumble strips. We went on broken asphalt. We, what else did we do? We did a driveway. We drove Driveways. up a driveway, like at an angle crooked to try and upset, see how the, how the vehicle transitions weight corner to corner. Poorly paved parking lot. A really, our, our parking lot driveway entry is horrible. We're talking like four inch elevation changes over a span of uh, <laughs> six inches. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's pretty nasty. I think that is where we could really see the biggest difference. Definitely. Um, what else? Uh, I actually thought that his Enduro Pro Pluses were better across the board. Um, I'm really sensitive to like minor, minor uh, changes. Um, I think Steven was saying that. He yes, I mean, maybe for me, the uh, smaller bumps were pretty similar, but definitely the, the, the really. Um, the bumps that matter. The, the big bumps like on our, 
on our poorly paved driveway, uh, it was definitely noticeable that my car with Enduro Plus was, uh, was much better. Much better, yeah. So when I went over, and you might see it in the video, we haven't even reviewed the video yet. We literally just parked the Ys, came in the shop. We're trying to get these thoughts out of our head before we, uh, you know, um, go home. So uh, I, <laughs> I think I cussed uh, when, we, when, I, when I went into the parking lot in my why after driving his it was like a pogo stick mm -hmm. i mean i literally felt like i just launched up. yeah similar and, experience for me yeah and i think that's that kind of is similar to what everybody experiences when you're on a freeway and you hit a really big dip on the freeway and this this is for the model 3 and the model y it's just i think exaggerated even mm -hmm. more in the model y um it, many of you may not know but dimensionally the shocks are identical between the 3 and the y so you know, you have this vehicle that's heavier, but the damper strokes, the actual damper lengths, the shock housings, they're all identical between the three and the Y. And we can even show you, we have a, a bunch of factory suspension here. So maybe we'll do a follow-up video and we'll, we'll kind of show you like these things are identical. Um, but, uh, you know, I think all they did was maybe change the valving on it and increase the spring rates potentially on the Y. But uh, the engineer needed to go a bit farther beyond that. So um, I thought that his vehicle was smoother over, you know, the rumble strips and the broken asphalt. Um, I definitely felt that when I went up the driveway, I was going at about, I think I started at around 28 miles an hour and then I decelled as soon as I approached. I was around 20, 22 miles per hour, went up at an angle. And, you know, one of the things you'll, Notice is how that car will rock back and forth. So by going up at an angle, we wanted to push a weight transition from corner to corner. And his vehicle, I felt like it just resolved. Mm -hmm. Like it just settled and it was fine. Mine, I was like, what is going on? Um, and it was a lot rougher of an impact yep. versus yours. Um, I did tell you guys that, you know, we spent, you spent a lot of time actually um, testing the dampers when you first put them on to come up with your preferred damper settings. I did mention to them how long your commute is home. Yeah. And so I have about, I think we have 5,000 miles on those on now. It. And it's been about four or five months now. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a little while. So I did tell you guys, if you do want us to share where we felt or where Steven felt the damper values worked the best, his settings, you know, again, if you, if you, do want to purchase your dampers from us, we'll be happy to share this information with you. Maybe get you a little head start on where you should do your initial setup. Everybody's different. It's very subjective. But, um, you know, I think we went back and forth four times yeah. until you finally settled. Yeah, went initially too soft and then... Uh, oh yeah, how did that feel to you? I think it one, felt one great. day, it felt, yeah, until you got on the freeway, It right? felt great, low speed, you know, through town and and interchanges and stuff. But as soon as we got the freeway, it was just too soft and made it, made me a little nauseous. So I had that, we had to stiffen it up. That's it exactly little, what it went said. a little too stiff. So we we backed it back down, and then that was it's, and that was where it's at now is is really nice. And I think it is nice. Um, I, I do agree. Um, but uh, what else? So yeah, that I felt like your tains won at driveway approaches big dips, big bumps, small ruts, broken asphalt. I mean, we're maybe splitting hairs here. I thought that the tains were better. I, for me, it's hard to tell on the little stuff. Yeah, hard to tell on the little stuff. But again, I don't think those are the situations that people are really, you know, complaining about. It's mm -hmm. the big stuff, right. you know, the kids are in the back seat. You hit a dip on the freeway. It's like a huge impact. Um, I think we did feel like we weren't able to get enough conclusive testing done in this short time frame, this late at night. So what do you want to do? Hit the freeway tomorrow? Yeah, we're, tomorrow morning, let's get out on the freeway. All right, we're gonna get out on the freeway tomorrow. We'll conclude this review and uh, we'll let you know some further thoughts. But as of right now, I mean, just around town, there's definitely like, I think the, the big situations, you know, potholes, those types of things where you know, those tains will, will make a difference and they're adjustable. So, it, you know, you have that luxury. Um, and to be honest, I mean, Steven's kind of 
on the stiffer end of the spectrum right. of the damping. I mean, they can get a lot softer, but you'll have to decide for yourself what's perfect for you. So let's get on the freeway tomorrow and uh, we'll get back to you guys. All right, so we're back at it again. Uh, it's the next day we decided to get the Ys on the freeway so we could see how these things do. We did not get them on the freeway the other day, last night. Um, Steven's behind me in his red model Y Performance, 2022 model. Once again, this is a 2023 model Y Performance. We're gonna do a couple of miles on the freeway and see how OEM compares to the Tain and Jura Pro Plus adjustable dampers. So we're on pretty smooth surfaces right now. We got one little dip, but I will say that even on relatively smooth uh, pavement that you can feel the little undulations with the factory suspension. And we've got a big dip coming up here, expansion gap. All right, so there's that one. Be interesting to see when we go to uh, Stevens Y how it feels. All right, we're in Stevens Y. Let's get this thing up on the freeway. Okay, so what I'm noticing after just getting into Stevens Y on the street is I feel like it's a little stiff on the street. Um, on these services that I'm on right now. Um, but the trade-off is that it, it won't oscillate as much on the freeway at higher speeds. So you'll kind of have to play with the damping and find a great balance point for you individually. I know for Steven, he does mostly highway driving, so he did set up the rear end a little bit stiffer and the front, the front feels really good, but the rear feels a little stiff to me. Um, not like it's worse than factory, it's just um, firm. So, like we said, these are adjustable dampers. You can soften them up, set it to where you like, uh, but you'll have to find that balance point between street and highway. The way Steven has the rear dampers set up though, it feels great, like in, uh, in cornering. That rear end likes to rotate. Step. It doesn't step out, but you can tell it rotates. All right, here we go. Here's a big one. That was actually pretty good. All right, guys. So we're back. We did the drive. Went on the freeway. Um, compared my Y to Steven's Y. Um, went on the street a little bit. Got back on the freeway. Swapped it all out. So it's gonna be real quick, but in short. Um, I did feel that the Tanes were better on the freeway when my Model Y on the OEM 2023 suspension would hit dips or ruts in the freeway. I felt like, like it was a pogo stick kind of. Bucking again. Bronco. <laughs> yeah. Bucking Bronco. Yeah, um, it felt harsher upon impact. Um, the Tanes did not, and Stevens had a stiffer damper setting. so. Uh, Tim actually has these on his Model Y as well, and he's actually on the softer setting. And his Model Y feels much softer than, than Steven's, I think. In a follow-up video, we're gonna have Tim bring his Y down. He's been driving his Rivian every day. But he'll bring his Y down, and we will compare Steven's damper settings mm -hmm. to Tim's damper settings, and I think that'll make for a really cool video. Um, I did want to further touch upon when I switched to Steven's car uh, after getting off the freeway um, and got on the surface, on the, on the city street surfaces, it was a little bit worse in the area that we were in and I could tell that your dampers were set stiffer. Mm -hmm. um, so I just wanted to you know, explain that it was firmer, um, not really worse than factory, but it felt firmer than the smoother surfaces we had around our office last night. Uh, like I said, they're adjustable dampers, so you can set it softer. I think you can mute all of that. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I still thought- Yeah, it just depends great. on what you need. Yeah. Um, and and what, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, on, on the highway, I mean, it's, it's my vehicle. I've tuned it well for what I, what I drive every day. So it, I like it where it's at. It's, it's much nicer than the stock performance suspension. And so, you know, I know we hit 
maybe two or three big dips on yeah, the freeway. The big, and uh, they heard me talk about it, but I, I don't, you know, they didn't get yeah, it. Yeah, it's obvious to, to me that the, the Tains were soaked that up. So and, like, the, it's always about the resolution, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the initial impact and then how it catches itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, there's no continuous uh, oscillations in the vehicle after you right. Right. land after hitting that. Oh, the other thing is on the freeway, the, the little surface undulations. Mm -hmm. I could feel that a lot in the factory suspension. I did not feel that as much on the taints. Mm -hmm. So if there's like little, like, like any surface, um, you know, what you would consider a smooth surface, but slight undulations, like I could feel my Model Y not really like vibrating, but I could feel it yeah, almost like a wheel imbalance, very slightly. Are you more sensitive uh, than I am? I am very sensitive, this this butt dyno. <laughs> yeah. So that's about it. I think I think our judgment is still that the Tains are, are the way to go. Um, yeah, definitely a great value for weight, for yeah. replacing I mean, like the stock stampers. Yeah. Under 700 bucks Yeah. For, for the all-wheel drive variant. Um, and yeah, that's, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next one.